Hey you all, this is my guide on angle advantage. I know there are a few tutorials already on this subject. The reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I'm going to go a bit more in depth. So most of those guides, they go into one corner and angle advantage about one corner. Now I'm going to do two corners and even four corners. Now first for those who don't know, I'll explain what angle advantage is first and then we can go a little bit more in depth. Also I want to mention that angle advantage is not something that only happens in CSGO and Valorant. You can actually have this in a lot of FPS games because it's a perspective based thing. It can happen in real life, you can have angle advantage in real life. I don't think you should use it, but okay. So since this is a perspective based thing, I'm not going to go in game a lot, but I'm going to use a lot of images and animations to really give you the fundamental understanding of this. So let's start with the basics. Now we have a corner, this is the top view of a corner and you have a green guy standing beside the corner and you also have a blue guy standing there. Now in FPS games, your view is coming from the middle of your body. So that is the black point here. So let's say the green guy is aiming at the corner. So from the middle of his body, there's going to be a line that goes to the corner. And as you can see, he can just get a slight view of the blue guy. Now the blue guy is doing the same, so he's aiming at the corner and what happens is, well, he gets a slight view of the green guy's shoulder. So if they're standing like this, they can both see a slight bit of each other's shoulder. Now what happens if the blue guy just walks backwards and goes further away from the corner? Well, as you can see here, the blue guy will still be able to see the green guy's shoulder. So as you follow the line, you can see here, you can see the shoulder, but the green guy who is also aiming at the corner will not be able to see the blue guy. So this is angle advantage. Angle advantage is seeing the enemy before the enemy can see you. So this is one part of angle advantage. Now, what if we move the blue guy until the green guy can see his shoulder? So we're going to move the blue guy to here. The blue guy is moving, the green guy can just see his shoulder and how much can the blue guy see from the green guy? Well, he can see his head, he can see his shoulder, so he sees a lot of the green guy. So angle advantage is also when you see more of the enemy than the enemy sees of you. Now, when do you get this advantage? Well, the blue guy here is further away from the corner than the green guy. So the guy with the longest distance to the corner is the guy with angle advantage. The longer the distance, the more angle advantage you will have. So this is really important in FPS games. You always try to be as far from the corner as possible. Not always, but in, in a lot of situations, you try to be as far away from that corner just because this way you can get angle advantage. Now these were the basics of playing around one corner. But in CSGO and in Valorant, you're mostly standing behind cover, but the other guy is also standing behind cover. So you're actually playing around two corners. So how does this work? This is where we go a little more in depth. So as you can see here, you have two corners. You have a green guy standing behind his corner and the blue guy standing behind their corner. So who has the angle advantage now? Is it green or blue? And also around which corner are you playing? What I mean by this is, are we playing around that corner? Do you check these distances? Um, are you playing around this corner or do you check these small distances to the corner? Well, a lot has to do with the person who is holding the angle. So here you have the green guy and the green guy is holding the blue guy's angle. The blue guy is not peeking here. What happens if the blue guy walks up to the angle to try to peek it? Well, he's going to walk into the line of sight of the green guy and the green guy will see his shoulder. So what you get here is that the blue guy won't be able to see the green guy because he needs to look around his corner and the green guy can see the blue guy's shoulder. So the green guy, he's holding the angle and that means he can dictate which angle you're playing around. So the green guy here dictates that you're playing around that angle. If you see the distances here, you can see that the green guy is further away from the corner than the blue guy, which means that the green guy here has angle advantage. Now what can happen online is that you are holding the angle from far, so you know you have angle advantage there, and suddenly a guy pops around the corner, he headshots you before you can even react and you're dead. 
This is something that will happen because of Peeker's advantage. So Peeker's advantage is when you peek around the corner, you will have an advantage based on internet and server stuff. So the higher your ping is, the more Peeker's advantage you will have. This is a completely different subject. There are a lot of videos about Peeker's advantage already. Uh, I'd suggest you look them up, but yeah, just know that if you can't really fire your first shot, if someone peeks you and you're dead and you know you had the angle advantage, well, it's just because you're playing online. I mean, just don't, don't really get mad about it. Now back to angle advantage and we go to the next example where the corners, here you have two corners who are crossed, but you can have two straight corners here. And the green guy, as I told him, he's holding the angle because I told him it's the right thing to do. So the green guy holds the angle and the blue guy wants to peek the angle. And as you can see, the green guy will see the blue guy before the blue guy can see the green guy. The green guy is holding the angle, which means he dictates the angle. But what if we put the corners closer together? So this happens. So the green guy is still holding the angle, but he's closer to the angle. And the blue guy knows that. He's pretty close to the angle and he's going to back off and peek him from really far away. So yeah, green dictates the angle, but the blue guy, he's going to peek from really far away. And as you can see here is that the blue guy, he can see the green guy, but the green guy can't see the blue guy. So in this case, the blue guy is further away. So the blue guy has angle advantage. This is something that, re that is really important. It's not because you're holding the angle that you will have angle advantage. It's only because you are holding the angle and you are further away from the angle that you have angle advantage. So holding the angle is only dictating the angle and angle advantage is what you get from being further away from the corner. Now there's one more example I want to take a look at with you and that is when there are four corners. You might say, when, when do you get four corners in the game? Well, if you're standing in the doorway and the other guy is standing in the doorway, you have four corners. So yeah, this dynamic actually happens a lot. So let's say the green guy is holding that angle, the angle you see here. And uh, there's a blue guy, but he's standing behind the other angle. So what is the blue guy going to do? Well, first of all, uh, he knows there might be an enemy behind this corner here, so he's going to peek that angle. And he's peeking the angle and he looks and there's no enemy. Now, what the blue guy can do here, and I see a lot of pros doing this also, it's really interesting, is he can start walking towards the middle. And as you can see, the green guy, he's holding the other angle, but he can't really see the blue guy in this way. But the blue guy can actually see the shoulder of the green guy. So because he takes the decision to be a bit more offensive and just walk past the corner, he can see the green guy and he has the angle advantage on the green guy. So if he moves towards the point where the green guy can see his shoulder, he can actually see his head and he can get the headshot here. So what I want you to keep in mind is that your vision can get obstructed. So green's vision actually got obstructed here. So if you're in this situation where you're holding an angle, but someone can pick you from the other angle, it might be that he can see you before you can see him because your vision got obstructed and you get shot through the wall, but actually he can just see you and he can shoot you in the arm. So this was my in-depth guide on angle advantage. If you think I missed something, if, I, if you think I went wrong somewhere, please put it in the comments and let me know Then we can have a discussion. On the other hand, I have a lot of Tekken tutorials on my channel. So if you're interested in Tekken or other fighting games, well, just have a look. Fighting games are actually not battle matching, but they're really split second decision making and, and really high intensity games. They're really fun. Can't recommend them enough, so yeah. If you're interested, just have a look and I'll see you guys next time.